Hey everybody! I wanted to share a sweet happy meal that I got today as well as a gift um, from my husband. This is a... Uh, I'm filming this on Valentine's Day. I don't know if I'll post it today, but I thought I'd go ahead and share with you some of his art um, as well as the happy mail I received today. So this is actually a, a tile. It's probably about the size of, say, a bathroom tile, maybe a little bit, a little bit larger. Um, and it's made from iron. My husband, a couple of weeks ago, uh, went out of town with his brother, who is also a sculptor. Um, and they went to this event at a artist loft um, where he previously went to school. Um, and they had lots of artists there, but you could participate um, and basically carve your own mold from sand and they would pour in the molten iron. And the iron comes from, you know, old radiators and stuff like that that they melt down while they're there. Uh, and then they pour uh, the iron into everybody's molds. And then you get to take home, you know, whatever you finished. So this was his um, piece that he is gifting to me. Um, it's like a, it's a flaming heart. Um, this is kind of a motif that you might see in religious artwork. So, um he made something along those lines. So this is his gift to me. It is inscribed on the back. I won't share that with you. Um, but this was his gift to me and it's actually, um, looks like he painted it with or stained it with some red, um, what do you call it? Uh, paint. Um, so it's quite heavy, so I'm not going to pick it up because, um, it is heavy and I don't want to mess up my paper that's underneath because I want to show you what I also got in the mail. And so, um, today I got this, um, it's a book box from Vicki, who is TryHeart67 here on YouTube. And she has this tag on the front. It is tied to the front here. Look how cute this is. Um, so she has been crafting, um, and I just saw one of her videos recently. This is so pretty, Vicki. Tea time. <laughs> So she's got these little tags tucked in here on the front. Um, and this one says for you. So I don't want to lose that. So tiny. So tiny. Okay. And then she does have it tied closed. So I'm going to see if I can just slip that off. Okay. I can. And look how this cute this box is. I haven't looked inside. Um, there's some shreds in here. So let's see what she's made. Um, let's see, I've got scissors right here. My desk is such a mess because I haven't cleaned it up in a while. I've been making shirts or playing around with designs for shirts. So what did she send me here? Well, there's a couple of things in here. So let me cut this. Look at that. Oh, this is so pretty, Vicky. It's another one of her envelopes. And look at the shell that she, uh, the shell, the button that she put on here. It's made from shell, um, like mother of pearl. And she just winds it around and then you unwrap it. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay. Um, on the back, let me show you the back first before I open it. She's got lace that goes around the front too. And then um, it says for Marilyn, happiness. Vicky. To dream. Oh, I remember she was saying she has all these stamps that she is using in her stash. And look at this um, vintage postcard stamp. So pretty. Way to use your stash, Vicky. <laughs> oh, okay. I saw this card. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay. So this is an envelope. Pocket envelope. Um, look how cute this card is. Everyone becomes a poet. Under the stars. 
I love how she used all of her um, different trims. And she made this a shaker. It's so pretty. And it's got like a another on the inside. See, so you can't really see in, but on the other side of the inside cover, there is this. And check out her video because she explains how she did this. Um, I believe she used Distress Ink or Distress Oxide Ink for the pink here. The lightest pink. Um, probably sponge sugar. Art Inspired Heart. This is so pretty, Vicky. She's so talented. So this is the card she sent to me. And I'm going to just put this off to the side while I open the rest of what's in here. Like I said, my, my desk is quite messy. Because I haven't cleaned it. I've been doing other things. And I had today off, so I ran a lot of errands. And going out to dinner to a German restaurant. Oh, she sent me candies. Yummy. So some chocolates. And then this is what? Let's see what this is. And see something else. I'm so late with my sending. I, I missed the boat. More chocolates. Yay. <laughs> and she did stamp these. See, this one's got hearts on it. This one's got a little cupid on it. I think this is probably Distress Ink. And then she put this stamp in here. And this one is called So Lovely from, um, it's from Crafter's Companion. I don't think I have this one. From, what is, what is her name again? I used to know her name, but she does quite a few sets that they have. I have the collect part of the collection that she put out, but I don't think I have the stamp. So thank you, Vicki. Um, I think that's it. But I just wanted to share that happy mail. I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day or had one if this is later on. Um, but, you know, even if you're not with someone, you know, you don't have to be to have a great Valentine's Day. I, that's not the idea. I don't think of Valentine's Day. day. But I want to um, just say, you know, you have friends here on YouTube. Um, this crafting community is one of the best communities that I know of to get to know people, even though you don't actually meet sometimes. And I've actually met people in person, which is such a, a great way to meet people that have the same um, interests as you do. So anyway, I just wanted to share those things. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.